T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine start, zero, and lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. Seeking clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. The program is in right on time. 180 operating system plus as expected. And throttling down to 76%. Program is complete. MSL is now breaking the sound barrier. SRB chamber pressures and following the normal curve. Everything will And we pass through max Q. We're on closed loop on Atlas PU. Signatures as expected. SRB profile continues to look nominal. Throttling back up. 100% thrust on the RD-180. Engine parameters looking good. Flight control disturbances look as expected. SRB pressures running right as expected. Coming up on SRB burnout, we have burnout of the SRBs. Everything is looking good. Ten seconds to SRB jet. And we have first pair and second pair. Both sets of SRBs have successfully jettisoned the vehicle. We have re-enabled guidance. Everything is looking good. This is Rob Gannon, our United Launch Alliance telemetry manager we're hearing. Vehicle is now 32 nautical miles in altitude, 54 miles downrange, traveling at 4,900 miles per hour. And we've throttled down to hold a constant 2.5 G level for payload fairing jettison. Fired the pyro valve, pressurized in the RCS bottle. Pressure increasing in the loop as expected. Now we're hitting our 2.5 G limit coming up on payload fairing. Edison, approximately 10 seconds. Bearing jet. And we also have a successful CFLR jettison. But as expected, throttling up on the RD 180, everything looking good. Coming up to 89% thrust. And we are now entering our constant 4.6 G acceleration throttle phase. Everything looking good. We've started boost phase chill down. Housing temps are responding. Coming up on uh, booster engine cutoff. Expecting BECO in 10 seconds. Safety ADUs. We have BECO, retro rockets, and stage separation. We have pre-start on fuel and locks. Ignition and full thrust. Center main engine is up and running as expected. Everything looking good. Mr. 
sharing has been enabled. We have sent our PU to fixed angles, right as expected, and we've begun our reaction control system thermal conditioning firings. Everything working good. And the vehicle is now 102 nautical miles in altitude, 570 miles downrange, traveling at 13,700 miles per hour. And we're now in the early portions of a nearly seven minute first burn of Centaur. Engine continues to operate normally, good steady state operating pressures.